still nice and comfortable out there, but it was definitely a lot cooler here on Wednesday compared to Tuesday's temperatures, but we are going to be keeping those temperatures above average for at least another week. Tonight we're going to be seeing those winds pick up along the Santa Barbara South Coast as we do have this inside slider starting to drop on down. This is going to really tighten up those pressure gradients, bring that strong offshore flow all the way through Thursday. As we head into Thursday's forecast, the winds are going to come more from a northeasterly direction, prompting those Santa Ana winds down in Ventura County in Los Angeles County and also creating some critical fire weather down there because it's been warm it has been dry. You have that wind component and it really creates the ingredients for a fire to quickly ignite and spread throughout the area. Once we get into Friday's forecast, we get to keep that sunshine and we're also going to be keeping those nice, comfortable conditions all through the weekend. We do have another trough dipping on down that does pick up the wind as we go into your Saturday and Sunday, but overall wind is the only issue to deal with. As far as what you can expect for the Santa Barbara South Coast tonight, those sundowner winds are going to be anywhere from 20 to 35 miles per hour there as well as in the mountains that continues until midnight down in Ventura County. You do have that wind advisory continuing until 3 p.m. on Thursday for the coast as well as those valley areas. The mountains, you're going to be having a high wind warning. That means we do expect to see some of those gusts get up to 65 miles per hour. Damaging winds when we see winds of that strength are over to down trees and power lines. And that may be what we see on Thursday. You'll see here as we go into tonight, just after the sun sets, it picks up in Santa Barbara. Santa Barbara County mountains also dealing with those very gusty conditions. But Ventura County, you'll see those winds pick up just after midnight, 20 to 30 miles per hour. But that orange, that red, that is your indication that we could be seeing those damaging gusts of 40, 50 miles per hour, especially in some of those upper mountain areas throughout the county. Now, as far as what you can expect when it comes to your cloud cover, beautiful sunshine all the way through your weekend going into next Monday and Tuesday. But once we get into Wednesday's forecast, we actually have a chance of the storm system coming on in and bringing us a chance of precipitation. Right now, amounts look very light, but there is a chance a good week from now that we could see another storm coming on in. As far as your forecast highs for tomorrow, Santa Barbara, you'll warm up to 71. Galena there at 67, 67 in Carpinteria as well. Santa Maria, your high temperature is going to be at 68, 67 in Lompoc, hitting 70 degrees there in Muleton, 68 in San Inez. San Luis Obispo, you'll get up to 70, upper 60s in Paso, mid 60s there in Atascadero as well as Morro Bay, Pismo Beach in the low 60s, taking down south into Ventura County, Santa Ana winds keep temperatures there in the 70s. That's like your forecast. Have a wonderful evening and make sure to tune in tonight to your local news channel for the very latest.